it is absolutely hot today. I love it though, I love summer, it's my favorite season. And when it gets hot like this in Minnesota, what I like to do is I like to bring out the big guns, baby. This is a 10 inch Berkeley power worm. That's what we're gonna be doing today. Let's get loaded. Nice. Nice. It's coming right at me. Uh, come here. Oh, yeah. All right. Okay. It's so hot out here that my GoPros are like stopping because they're overheating. And uh, oh, that camera back there just stopped. I think anyway. Oh my gosh. And this camera on my chest is probably going to stop at any minute. So, oh, I'm going to have to get this guy unhooked here before... Uh, gee whiz, and he was never ever going to get off. Oh my goodness. See, I really don't like using nets, but I'm in this deep V boat. And it makes it... Because it's so high up off the water, I've got to cheat and i got to use a net. So, now... I'm, uh... See, this is the problem with nets. Oh, come on. There we go. Now, uh... There we go. Okay. Alright. First, first fish. Throwing a Berkeley 10-inch power worm. And not a bad way to start. I'm, uh, very happy about that. Here you go, buddy. Let's let you go here. It is so hot out. Oh my goodness. It's like 90 degrees. I mean, it's... We're deep in the summer, so I, I really shouldn't expect it to be uh, not hot out. So, all right. That works. There's a big fish. There's a big fish. There's a big fish, finally. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, come on. Okay, baby. Um, there's a... Ah, uh, yes. Okay. <laughs> That's a freaking... <laughs> That's a chunkster right there, oh my goodness. Oh my god, are you built? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, that thing is built like a, you know what, a brick, you know? You know what I'm, I'm laying down there? Oh, that is awesome. Golly, okay. It's, uh, I mean, it is blasted hot out. The, uh, I'm telling you, the air temperature is like, I feel like it's 90. Water temperature is 86. Let's let this fish go here. <clears throat> And, uh, thank you, sweet sunshine. Easy now. Okay, now you're good. Um, and it's just, uh, I mean, it's blasted hot. It's, it is, uh, the heat of the summer, you know? And when I got out of here initially, I mean, it was midday. And it's just been very, very slow going. But sun's getting a little bit lower. Maybe they're getting a little bit more active. Oh my gosh, all I know is I need some more Gatorade. That is so much darn fun. The thing that's so great about throwing this worm, I mean, this is a big worm. I mean, this is a 10 inch worm. This isn't a six inch worm, this is a 10 inch worm. Uh, the thing that's so great about this is that as opposed to like, if you were thinking about throwing a jig, you know, pitching a jig to this stuff, um, it's that, you know, that worm, it slides through this vegetation way better than a jig would. You know, a jig is just gonna, it's, it's more, it's just bulkier and it's gonna be hung up in that stuff more. Whereas a, 
a, uh, a worm like this, it's just gonna slither through vegetation way more, you know? If you were fishing like, you know, rock or wood primarily, then a jig's awesome. You know, a worm's awesome too. No one's hardly fishing a worm anymore, it seems like. But for vegetation, I love fishing a worm. And so I'll tell you how I'm fishing this. So basically, uh, what I do is in this particular situation, we got lily pads right over here. And then, uh, and it's kind of mixed in with coontail. Uh, coontail is really prevalent up here up north. We also have milfoil up here, but on this lake, there's a lot more coontail. So I really love coontail. Coontail is more bushier than, than milfoil. It's great cover. So I'm sitting right here in about six feet of water. This is a little bit steeper bank, so um, the lily pads and the coontail doesn't grow out as far. Uh, so it's it's a nicer edge to pitch this worm to um, It's just more of a direct edge just to kind of concentrate your efforts and What I'm doing Is I'm basically I'm just pitching I can see here You know where that coontail breaks off and here we have a stained. This is a stained lake so you have a coontail that can only grow out to about six seven feet it can't grow out anymore because it needs sunlight penetration it needs sunlight to get the leaves growing and all that fun stuff so it, it can only grow out so far so in this lake it only grows out to about seven feet um, so I look for that edge and what I'm doing I'm finding that edge and I'm just pitching to it and dropping it down. The first thing I do when I'm dropping it down, I feed that line. You want that worm to be dropping straight down. If you don't, if that's not a slack, if you're not feeding it line, it's gonna be coming back to you. So you wanna feed it line so that's dropping straight down to where you made your pitch to. So then it's down, it's, you know, seven feet there, six, seven feet. And now I'm just working it, working it back a little bit. I'm not gonna work it all the way back to the boat. I'm just kinda, I'm working it through the vegetation. Once I don't feel vegetation anymore, uh, then I'm, I'm bringing it back. So I'm not, I'm not spending too much time working it back to the boat. So I'll make a pitch. And again, I'm feeding it, feeding it. If I didn't go all the way down, now it's there. And and I'm working it back. You'll find, you know, I'm using 20 pound fluorocarbon. And that fluorocarbon is really sensitive. You can feel a lot with it. And, you know, you'll kind of be hung up a little bit in the grass. Just kind of keep popping it out of there. Don't, don't pull it too much. Just try to pop it out of there. And, you know, you want to keep it in the area where all that grass is. You don't want to uh, pull it off a, a, a piece of cover, you know, that, and, and then pull it off off the whole area. You, you want to just kind of pop it off there and hopefully it'll get loose and then you can continue your retrieve. Because you're, it's gonna be, you know, you're, you're working through thick cover, so it's not gonna come through smoothly. It's gonna come through better than a jig, but it's, it's not smooth. So you want to just methodically, you know, work through there. <sighs> And you're just picking stuff apart. You're just, I mean, the great thing about a stained body of water like this is that you can get really close to these fish. And, and just keep picking, I mean, just pick apart every square inch of this thing. Because they could be really anywhere. And that's basically the gist of it. And when you get a bite, Sometimes it'll just be solid, and then sometimes they'll run at you or run left or right or away from you. You'll just see your line running, just set the hook. It's so much fun though. I love this kind of bite. It's the same like, you know, as a jig bite. It's so much fun. And then, you know, you can catch such big fish doing this. Um, you just never know, you know, when you set that hook, if it's just gonna be an absolute giant.
There's a big one. There's at least big enough. Get in here. <laughs> oh my goodness. So, I thought these like lily pads were going to be like shallower in here, but I just put my rod tip in the water and I couldn't, I couldn't even touch the bottom. So, oh my goodness, this pad field is deep, is deep. Oh, let's let this guy go. Oh, thank you, buddy. Hello. But yeah, it's uh. So when you get like, I mean, again, this is 86 degree water temp, so it's hot, but underneath these pads, it's, it's cooler, it's shade, you know? But I had the impression that, oh yeah, it's just gonna be like shallower, you know, in here. No, it's like deep underneath there. So it's deeper, you got actually milfoil mixed in here. I mean, it's, it looks amazing. So you got depth, cooler, uh, you know, cooler water. Uh, because the, you know the, the pads are creating shade lord i'm just gonna pick the hell out of this all of this i mean it's just perfect looking oh my god it's heaven it's absolute heaven let me tell you real quick um just how i'm rigging this if i don't hook my seat here now let's actually get a fresh worm on here and run through this real quick like uh. so what I'm basically doing so again this is a 10 inch power worm Berkeley power worm it's black and blue uh, black blue fleck and I like to rig it so the tail is actually down and this is an offset this is a 4 aught offset uh, wide gap hook and this is how I do it Go all the way until that bend, okay? You wanna make sure this worm is straight. Come out, turn the hook. Oh my gosh, this worm is like slippery. Turn the hook, and then you got something like this. You wanna make sure, I'm gonna look kinda of where that hook's gonna be coming out, right? Make a, make a mark with your thumb. Want this to be straight. Straight out like that. And then I like to skin hook it. All right, like so. And look at that thing. That's the deal, that's pretty, pretty straight. You want it straight so it's gonna go through cover real well. And that's the situation right there. That is a quarter ounce, it's, I believe that's a quarter ounce weight. It doesn't, I'm actually even pegging this. I like that thing to be, I like that weight not to move. So that's just a nice compact presentation there. Comes through, look at it, that came out. I wanna make sure that's in there. Uh, comes through cover really well. Again, 10 inch uh, power worm, black, blue fleck. And then I'm using 20 pound Berkeley fluorocarbon, 100% fluorocarbon line. I love that line. And uh, that's the rig right there. Again, you want a little bullet weight right there, small bullet weight. You don't need something really heavy unless you're trying to penetrate through cover, but I'm not really doing that today. That is the setup. It is the deal. There's a good one right there. God, I was just swimming. That's a big fish. That is a big fish right there. That is a, that's a oh, I thought he was bigger than that. God, he's fighting like crazy. Come on over here. Oh my gosh, is that fun though. I was swimming that and he grabbed it. <laughs> I'm working this big flat right now. I mean, it's just a huge flat. Oh my goodness. That is. That's awesome. And what's so interesting is that that end is like milfoil, excuse me, that end's coontail. This end is milfoil. So it's like, I, I guess they decided, the, uh, the vegetation decided to uh, just divvy up the, uh, this bay. 
uh, that way. So I haven't caught a real see you buster haven't caught a real uh, big fish yet but trust me i am very 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 happy um okay so this is my setup um for a rod uh this is just the reel is a corrado uh 200e7 this is a very old reel um and i believe it's 6.2 to 1 gear ratio you can like when you're pitching you can use a really fast like a 7.2 to 1 or whatever it is like a 7 I'm not exactly sure of the ratio, but a fast reel. And the reason for that, when you're pitching, the whole idea is just to reel in and be able to pitch again to another target so you can do it fast. So that's, if you're gonna be pitching, if you're just gonna have a rod that's devoted entirely to pitching, a fast uh, speed reel is a great idea. This rod is a great pitching rod. It's really good for what I'm doing today. Uh, this is a St. Croix. This is their jigs and baits. It's a mof uh, mofo. <laughs> A mojo. I like mofo though. Maybe that's the adult version. Uh, mojo bass, um, St. Croix, their jigs and baits um, model. And it is a seven foot one medium heavy fast action. And it's a really great rod for this. You want a beefy rod. You want to really make sure that that hook, uh, you know, goes through that plastic and really penetrates. So that's it. just like <laughs> he had it he just had it solid and I just thought I was snagged and then he started pulling and by that time it was too late he just I just I just messed up man well that is a wrap for me it was a grind I mean it was not uh, an easy day by no means but it's a lot of fun you know it's a beautiful night my goodness what a beautiful night i love summer minnesota nights minnesota summer nights should be a movie or something i don't know hope you enjoyed the video if you liked the video i know everybody says this on youtube like the video please subscribe that means a lot to us and um yeah look at this glorious glorious i feel very 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 lucky Ah, to be a Minnesotan. Till next time.